One, two, one, two. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Asante Nisana. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for um, finding time. I want to welcome the membership of the Fourth Estate, uh, our press teams. Karibu Nisana. Katika makao haya ya naibu wa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya and by way of beginning we have concluded the parliamentary group meeting for the Hustler Nation movement that encompasses members of parliament from different political parties that have now converged as members of one parliamentary group meeting. We have discussed a myriad of uh, issues. We have discussed about our political formation, the United Democratic Alliance, we have discussed on parliamentary business that is currently before the House and that we intend to sponsor and support going forward. We have discussed matters of national importance. We've had a long discussion on the current situation in the country, especially relating to the corona COVID-19 pandemic that has uh, uh, ravaged uh, the country. We took the position as a team when the Ministry of Health announced the surge in numbers to reschedule all our public engagements until further notice, as I uh, announced uh, formally on my social media platform. We've had also an in-depth discussion on matters to do with what we believe should be the current engagement on managing the COVID-19 pandemic, especially with reference to vaccination. 
and we are going to make a statement uh, about about that we also appreciate this political situation in the country um, and we are also we've also discussed on other matters uh, of housekeeping and how we intend to engage the public in our responsibilities, uh, different resp responsibilities as members of parliament, as senators, and as leaders in the Republic of Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, a short statement that we are going to make. Um, we appreciate that, uh, as we said about two years ago, that it was the intention of this team to change the political conversation in our country. We are very proud and happy that finally the conversation in Kenya has changed. And today we are not discussing about constitutional change. We are discussing matters economy that we are not engaged in an exercise of trying to create positions for leaders, that we are in the passionate engagement to see how we can create jobs for ordinary citizens. That today in Kenya, the conversation is not about leaders and what is in need for them in the next political dispensation, the discussion is what is in it for Mamamboga, the Boda Boda Kais, the ordinary people in Kenya. We are very proud that while in the past we were discussing about the Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister and other positions. Today, Mama Mboga has taken the center stage. Yeah. And the border border guy is at the heart of the political conversation in Kenya. We welcome our competitors who have graciously accepted to join us in the conversation about the economy of our country, about ordinary people, about jobs, about enterprise. We want to tell them we are ready and we want to engage in that conversation that is going to bury forever the politics of ethnicity, the politics of division and hate, and is going to elevate our political competition to the realm of issues that would make a difference in the lives of the people of Kenya. We understand that our competitors have criticized matters to do with the economy and matters to do with our bottom-up model. We welcome all the criticism because it is an avenue for us to improve on our model. And while we are at it, they should equally explain to the country how their trickle-down economic model that has not worked for the last 50, 60 years is going to work this time round. It is a healthy conversation. We want to persuade them to remove insults, and 
the reference to bottom up or bottoms up liquor competition or anatomy of different parts of the body. We should get rid of those insults. Let us have a healthy competition, a conversation about the economy of our country. Kenya will be a lot better and Kenya stands to a chance to be greater when we all engage in issues, especially on the bottom-up economic model, to lift the millions of citizens of our nation that today either are jobless or are hustling or farmers and pastoralists and herders who are on food relief. It is our very considered view that our focus on these 15 million Kenyans will not only help us broaden and expand and recruit new taxpayers, we will have the necessary, they will help us to raise the necessary resources to run government and also the necessary resources for us to retire debt that is becoming a crisis in our country. I do not wish to say more than that. Let me now request, starting with Alice Wahome, to begin uh, our statement. Alice. Yeah, thank, you. thank you, Your Excellency. Members of the press, this is a written statement signed by all the members that are present for this press conference. I'll start. Kenyans desire a new, inclusive, people-centered conversation on the future of our nation. That's our title. The governing Jubilee Party has collapsed. The opposition NASA coalition has disintegrated. The Hasra nation has found a new home in the United Democratic Alliance. We welcome all Kenyans who desire a greater future to join us in the United Democratic Alliance. In 2017, Jubilee was elected on a no by an overwhelming majority on the platform of the Big Four agenda that was anchored on the success of the party's first term. Subsequently, a merger of the governing party and the opposition coalition was occasioned by the hardship that was presented ostensibly as a framework for peace and economic growth. Kenyans initially welcomed this development and hoped that the promise of a peaceful environment would facilitate the implementation of the Big Four agenda and enable the Jubilee administration to continue with this development plan. That was never to be. I will now call Soipan to continue with the statement. Sadly, this framework degenerated into an unnecessary, arbitrary, selfish, an unconstitutional attempt at changing the constitution that occasioned unlawful and unbudgeted expenditure of billions of shillings of public resources that are to date unaccounted for and are a subject of the Auditor General's inquiry. Little wonder a recent survey has shown that 72% of Kenyans believe that the country is headed in the wrong direction. For, good, for, for four good years, the country has been engaged in the BBI process, characterized by, characterized by hubris, chest thumping, blackmail, intimidation, and bribery. In this process, party parliamentary, committee leadership, and members 
who were perceived to be disagreeable to this scheme became victims of a vicious purge and expulsion. Besides, the criminal justice system, Kenya Revenue Authority, and other state agencies were mobilized and weaponized to intimidate, blackmail, victimize, and persecute leaders, business people, and ordinary Kenyans perceived to be opposed to this unconstitutional order, BBI, and its anti-people recommendations. This provided a leeway for the attempted vandalism of the constitution of our country. Fortunately, the judiciary made a very profound decision affirming the supremacy of the people, their constitution, and independent institutions. Honorable Cecil Limbarira. <coughs> Regrettably, the NASA coalition, its principles, and the, their jubilee collaborators took the government hostage, hijacked its agenda, and one, completely destroyed the governing jubilee party and dismembered the entire opposition coalition. Two, emasculated parliament, undermined the rule of law, threatened the independence of the judiciary, and emboldened impunity. Three, sabotaged job creation, universal health coverage, food security and manufacturing, thus cutting the entire Big Four plan. Four, criminalized hustler enterprises in places like Nyamakema, Gikomba, Kamukunji, Kirinyaga Road, and River Road, amongst others. Five, presided over the brutal or inhuman evictions and demolitions of the vulnerable and destruction of private property in places like Karyobangi, Ruai, amongst other, many other places across the country. Six, mismanage the economy, leading to stockpiling of public debt to unprecedented levels occasioned, that has occasioned the current economic crisis that our country is facing. I wish to call upon Honorable Benjamin Tayari. Thank you. Thank you. Our approach towards a bottom-up economic and governance model to address this sad and grim state of affairs facing our country, the Hustler Nation, forged by the people in the diversity from all parts of the country, here represented by leaders from across the political divide, believe in a new economic and political paradigm that prioritizes one, bottom-up over trickle-down economics. Two, the people over their leaders. Three, empowerment over power sharing. Four, jobs over positions. Five, enterprise over patronage. Six, economic transformation over opportunistic constitutional amendment. I hereby call Honorable Mabonga to continue. Focused on this new paradigm and through a bottom up economic, economic and governance model, it's possible to enable the over 15, Ke 15 million Kenyans at the bottom of the pyramid to be active and meaningful participants in the economy through deliberate, one, public, private, labor intensive investment framework to create jobs, two, financing instruments and mechanisms to spur promote and empower hustler enterprises such as Mamamboka, Hawkers, Boda Bodas, Artisans, Artists, among others. And then three, facilitation and enhancement of productivity of farmers, pastoralists, fisher 
folk and other actors within agriculture value chain. Number four, implementation of manufacturing and industrial program that prioritizes cottage industries as a multiplier of national productivity. In the meantime, we will continue sponsoring and supporting people-centered legislation and policies that entrench the objectives of bottom-up economic and governance model. And we will also sensitize the public to remove what is in the heads of the majority. May I take this opportunity to invite the leader of majority, Hon Aden Dwale, the man of all seasons. Thank you. Uh... Member for Bumula, it is our considered view that to open up the economy, and this is on COVID-19 pandemic, as the PG, we have deliberated the matter and we are saying it is our considered view that to open up the economy and to facilitate economic activity among our people, especially for the millions of hustlers, it is imperative on the part of government to proactively and decisively deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. Currently, our country uh, in the world is focused on the speedy mass vaccination of its population. We expect the Ministry of Health to, without any further delay, to roll out the vaccination of Kenyans with immediate effect as earlier communicated by government and more so by His Excellency the President. Through mass vaccination, we can save lives and progressively reopen our community, our, our economy, the way it has been done in many other countries. That is the end of our statement from the parliamentary group. We had 135 members of parliament from both houses. 15 have sent their apologies. We have two of our governors, the governor for Turkana, Governor Nanok, and the governor for Nandi, His Excellency Governor Sang. And I think uh, you have heard uh, what the PG has discussed any other question you want to ask, if it is not part of our statement, that means it was not an agenda and we will not discuss it. But I think as the Deputy President has said, mine is to send a message to our competitors, because the election is about one year to come. They believe in constitutional reforms and constitutional change, we believe the prior priority is the economy, and more so the bottom-up economic model. They believe in ganging up and forming tripol chieftain. We believe in a unified, unitary state, politics based on a space created for all Kenyans. They believe in sharing of positions, and that's why you see each one of them they have no agenda, they have no manifesto, they have no economic model. Some are saying, my business is to deny William Ruto the presidency. That is the agenda of one of the leaders. Another one is so busy with trying to revive NASA and Oka Kenya. So we are saying our manifesto, our agenda is very clear and we want to them also to put in place why the bottom-up model is not good for Kenya, but the trickle-down model that we have lived with since independence is better than what we have. So that should be the discussion. That should be the narrative. So we want the people of Kenya to choose between us and them based on very informed social, economic, political models. That's it, I think. If you have one or two questions, then before we leave. Yes, from KTN. And it should be something on this statement. 
Thank you, and a uh, very good afternoon. Chris Taylor from uh, KTN. Uh, two questions. Uh, one, uh, from your statement, you seem to be uh, people who are not happy with the Jubilee Party that uh, most of you uh, members of parliament have voted in. And uh, to an extent of uh, the juniors uh, going ahead, even frustrating the second person in command in the country, then what we would ask, why not uh, call it a day and uh, uh, you all resign? And uh, I can see you have a formidable team no, and uh, uh, go to the ground and for votes. The, the, the second question. The, <laughs> The, the second question. Uh, I would like to, to, to know uh, the issue to do with PEP, the People's Empowerment Party. There have been uh, reports that uh, there have been some wrangles between PEP and UDA, especially in the Mount Kenya region. Uh, and that's the reason why uh, the Gatundu South Member of Parliament, uh, Moses Kuri, is not around. Maybe you can confirm that. I think the first Thank one, you. let me tell you, the members sitting behind me are members of United Democratic Alliance. We are in, in Jubilee normally. But the current and the future party of ours is UDA. So any other party, we will not discuss. And I think, too, we will not discuss about the person and the institution of the deputy president. That was not part of our discussion as a PG. Any other question? My friend from NTV. Thank you so much. Uh, and just before you ask, on PEP, the only member on PEP who is a hustler from the hustler nation is here and is part of our PG. And is here. Please. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, just to ask is working with affiliate TSP, Chama Chakazi. And also, you've said, a uh, bit of majority have said uh, that, you know, you are either with us or not with us. But are you open as UDA now that you're going into a general election and we have a tradition of, you know, transfer of members of parliament and even politicians to other coalitions? Are you open to work with other coalitions such as Okan? Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Olani. As has been communicated to you, that was not part of uh, the discussion today. So, uh, at an appropriate moment, when that becomes a subject of discussion in our PG, we will ably respond to what you have said. So, please, hold your horses. <laughs> Any other question? Yes. Uh, my question is uh, about uh, bottom up. Can you be able to might be to emphasize? We know the the numbers of the youth in this country they have no job. Can you be able to emphasize how are you going to be improve that economically? Yeah, good question. Good question there. If uh, amongst the 15 million people at the bottom of the pyramid is about 4 million jobless Kenyans. It is our considered position that through policy change in investments by investing not in capital intensive infrastructural programs, rather investing in labor intensive infrastructural programs, for example, housing, cottage industry, agro-processing, value addition, informal uh, manufacturing, we can create millions of jobs. I know the question many people ask, where are you going to find the money? Let me tell you, we didn't have to look for additional money for us to do the 10,000 kilometers of roads we have done. We changed the model of building roads. We didn't have economic model.
liquor. We are not guests in any place. We join parties by choice. And we, you live by choice. So, one last more. Leto and... Uh, yes, Sema Leto. Uh, since you were not in the in the in the room where I made that statement, I uh, maybe I would recommend. Biashara kuwapa mikopo yenye riba ya chini biashara completely kukopa madeni kwa sababu tutakuwa na pesa ambayo sisi wenyewe kwa kuzalisha uchumi wetu nyingi na itatuwe, eh, itatuwezesha kuendesha serikali yetu bila ya kwenda kutafuta mikopo the big crisis of debt by making sure we have more Kenyans brought into the tax paying bracket because we have enabled either them to get jobs or their enterprises to grow.